So I want to make a video about how easy it is to make aliases in Bash or nicknames for certain commands in Bash. Okay, so I'm going to pull up the manual for Bash. And if you don't know, Bash is a scripting language, which means, you know, not very powerful um, programming language that is already built into GNU. It was written by the GNU team. Um, and so Bash is this simple scripting language that's kind of like, if you're new to programming, it's kind of like Python. Um, Python is a scripting language. Now Python has all those modules, those fancy modules that you can import. Bash doesn't really have that, or it doesn't have it to my knowledge, but it can do most um, simple task and the good thing is it's built into our system so it's very um, not very labor intensive for our computers to um, use it anyway since it's already built into the computer it's a great thing to utilize um, and just for this video the one thing I'm going to do is how you can set nicknames for certain commands that you might use all the time so one command that I have to use all the time is I have to go CD documents, right? I, I couldn't tell you how many times a day I go CD docs, okay? It's all of the time. Now, that's, I might have to go CD docs LS. I don't know how many times a day I do that, CD docs LS. So maybe I don't want to do that anymore. Maybe I don't want to cd docs anymore so what i did is i made an alias or a nickname for that command and what i did you can do whatever you want but i set it up as docs and the way i set it up was when i type in docs what i mean is cd documents and so you can see it has the same effect now if you can do this for your documents you can clearly do this for any file on your system right i have you know hundreds of um, files inside my documents maybe there's certain ones that I use all the time so what I can do is I can set up one for each individual one or ones I use all the time maybe I want to set it up for my music or my videos or anything anything I'm using all the time it's probably good you may also want to set up something for um, maybe you have to mount a USB all the time maybe you have to um, just anything, any command you're typing in all the time, you can use this technique. So that's why you might want to do it. Now, how do you do it? So I'm going to go to vim that, uh, bash rc. That's what it is on my computer here. Whoops. Um, let's see. Vim bash rc. Now what's going on here? Okay, so here we are in my Bash RC. Now, the only thing I've done for this example is this very top row here. This is the only thing I've changed um, for this example, and that's the alias docs equals CD documents. Now, I can do this for any folder I like, any folder I like. I can go alias, this is how you do it, and maybe I want to just go mu equals cd slash music okay now that's just another one now it could be literally anything it doesn't have to be just a folder it could be um you have to set up um an alias for um, just any command you can possibly think of this is going to be helpful to you um now, there's certain programs that I I like to run a lot, and you could also set up aliases for those programs as well. Now, the reason I probably won't do it for programs is because I have something called D-Menu. Hopefully, you can see it on the top of my screen. D-Menu essentially has that worked out for me, so if I want to open GIMP, I can just do use GIMP or I can just type GIMP and it'll it'll find that program that I have on there. So that's the reason why I wouldn't set aliases 
for programs myself because I have D menu. Hopefully you also have D menu as well. Maybe I'll make a, a video about D menu later. But there's lots of good videos about D menu. There's not a lot of good videos about how you simply make aliases in Bash. Usually they want to show you everything there is about Bash just to simply explain it. Okay. So the only thing the only thing other I'm going to say is that's how you do it. You can do it for any command you want and you just type in man bash to find the manual for it actually so um, the best thing you can do is actually just look through this and um, you can just type in whatever that you're looking for okay so um, that's what I would that's what I would do okay so I hope that that's helpful um, if there's anything that you would like me to cover um, in the future uh, please post in the comments but I hope that that was helpful to you. Okay, have a good night.